People are very shallow, so unorganized. You're not good enough, sorry, not good enough. It's Rosette here, and today I'm gonna be talking about why I left the modeling industry and just why it didn't work for me. This is all based on my own experiences, so I can't speak for everyone. Also, you should like and subscribe if you haven't already. Expect something new every single week. That being said, let's get into the video. I was about 14 when I started. I was just about to go into my freshman year of high school, so very young, and I knew that I was the right height. I've always been really tall, so I think at the time, even going into high school, I was 5'9". And at the time, again, I was just really skinny, super tall, and I was like, why not, let's try it. And I had a family friend. She was really amazing and helpful. We put together this portfolio. I went with my portfolio to all of my casting events and I would go by myself, sign in, and basically walk for them. I lived in New Jersey at the time so I would take a train from New Jersey to New York and after a while for me like going into the city was a lot and I think it would have been different if I lived in New York but I didn't. I didn't really see this as a um, future career goal. It was something that was fun that I wanted to try. The first thing that no one ever tells you about these casting calls is it's really overwhelming. Like there's just so many people, everyone's gorgeous. Sometimes I'd be waiting for a really long time to walk. When I was working during fashion week, one designer that I worked with was so unorganized. We were there until like 12 a.m. or something. We'd work the whole day. I felt really burnt out at the end. It was I was working really late and I felt that it wasn't a lifestyle that was good for me. I wasn't getting paid that much and I was working a long time and really late at night. And again, like I'm only like 15 at the time. So the next thing I wanna talk about is weight. In the industry, people are gonna like your look or not like your look. You're being told things all the time that you should be changing, and that can be really hard to hear. You just never knew what they were looking for. So when I started, I was about like 120 pounds. I thought that I was fine. Like I thought that I was a normal help, maybe a little bit underweight, but I was very fine with my appearance, my look. I was 5'9 at the time, so I'm pretty tall, and I kind of look like a stick but I went in and I had people telling me that I was too fat if you see I was tiny like I definitely did not think I needed to lose weight at all and I kept having people tell me that I needed to it's actually kind of funny because the people who are casting you or looking at you while you're walking the ones that you're interacting with they will tell you that you are too fat that you need to lose weight here that you're not the right look but what's interesting is that these are the people who are not like in shape at all, who are not taking care of themselves. It's hard to hear some old person who is not at all keeping up with themselves telling you you're not good enough, sorry, not good enough for our company. Um, it's just like an interesting and weird dynamic. That I did not like the models that I met. People were very shallow. Personally for me, I was more in it for the experience. A lot of them, like this is their job. This is what they're trying to do to get paid. I'm very grateful for the experience and I'm really happy I tried it. I whatever's right for you. That being said for me, it definitely was not the right choice. Traveling into the city was a lot for me. The people I met were not the nicest or friendliest people at all. I didn't want to lose any more weight because I was already really skinny. There's so many different types of people they're looking for. That didn't work for me. Like I really love social media because there's a lot more realistic body types and there's people that you can follow and accounts that you can follow that are something that looks more like you or like a real person. I definitely feel that the industry is changing and a great example of that would be Aerie. Like they have real models with real bodies. But I learned a lot from it. It's all about being your own boss. It's all about negotiating. It's really about sticking up for yourself because in this industry, they will take advantage of you if you don't. At the end of the day, it's, does it make you happy? Are you feeling fulfilled? It's a lot of work and people do not give models credit. Having to work super long hours, just like making sure that you're always keeping your weight in check and you're always looking perfect. And I have friends who do do it, 
full time and I'm so like I'm amazed like that's great but for me I just could not thanks guys for listening you should definitely like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video